it's Abby, and today we are unboxing BTS's new album, B! Yay! I'm so excited for this album. It's so pretty and so minimalistic. This is a really thick album, but I'm so excited because it's like really like hardcover. Here is a better look at the album without the glaring from the ring light. Um, it's nice and beautiful. It has this nice packaging with the letters. It just has the chorus where life goes on. So pretty. I hope everyone is streaming Life Goes On. It's such a pretty song. The entire album is so pretty. Like J-Hope described it as like this like warmth, feeling this warmth. It really does feel so comforting. It feels like a nice comforting hug. Like after all of 2020, this feels just like this hug that we all needed. Like, like not like a comforting hug in that in the sense that everything's gonna be okay even though everything is gonna be okay it just feels like i feel your pain we're gonna get through this that's what it feels like that's how mono kind of feels and this album very much feels like that like i'm struggling along with you but that is such a comforting feeling which is weird to say but before we get any further i want to say please make sure to stay till the end because i will have an announcement for this album so please make sure to watch all the way to the end let's get into the album Ooh, I really like this. Oh my gosh. So this is a very thick photo book and I really like the material of this. <gasps> oh my gosh. There's so much stuff. So I guess we'll go through the photo book first. Okay, this is such a thick photo book. <gasps> Ooh, already this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love J-Hope's room so much. I thought it was just so cute and it fit him so well. This is so pretty. Obviously, like, B is such a special album. Oh my god, he's so gorgeous. B is such a special album because, like, they curated the entire thing themselves. And I've seen, I've sort of seen people kind of belittling all of BTS's prior albums as they like the way they're talking about B is like this is BTS's first solo produced and I'm like it's not though like BTS has always been producing their albums it's just like this is the first album that they've been like having more creative input aside from the music you know what I mean but the way people talking about like oh it's their first solo produced album makes it seem like it's their first solo produced music album but it's not like they've always produced their own music and had help in producing and stuff like this is just their first album where they like conceptualized everything and let us in on the process oh my my god he's gorgeous he's stunning and i really loved the concept of them explaining every single room detail to us i thought that was so cool these pictures are so pretty look at him he's so gorgeous <gasps> oh my god are you seeing this I love this. He looks so good. I just love that this room screams JK. Like, he loves his music so much. So he's like, I only want to showcase my speakers. I love how unabashedly feminine Jimin is. Like, he really does not care for, like, gender norms and stuff like that like obviously there's just been like this huge discussion over this with his um filter performance which i thought was such a great um conversation piece like breaking down the the performance and everything that was really cool and i just really like how you can see the growth that he's had and like he said that he used to try and be like super masculine and stuff and like that was always what he was trying to achieve and like now he like let go of that constant need to be masculine and now he's just like embracing the beauty in femininity and the beauty in things that are feminine like flowers and stuff i think that's so cool to see like the growth of him so i really like his room and how he chose to decorate it and stuff I just love the whole concept of them choosing what they want to represent them and stuff. So like obviously Jimin with the florals and like JK, like to him music is everything. So he wants to go with like speakers to represent him and stuff. Like I just love that so much. Look at him. He looks so cute with the little choppy bangs. I love him. He looks so cute. And then obviously like RM's aesthetic has changed so much. He's changed and grown. Like his has changed from like this really dark um, monochromatic look. Like with his other mixtapes, um, RM and Mono, it's very black and white. But you can see that his 
aesthetic and style has changed and evolved to be a lot more neutral and, and like down to earth stuff like that like i think it's so cool just to see like their growth and their change <gasps> look at him yoongi's room was definitely not what i expected it to be at all which is so cool i love that even though we love bts and think we know them like they're still constantly surprising us i really love that like as my bias i thought i knew him so well and then he came out with this room and it was not at all what i expected it to be and it was just so cool i'm just like wow they can still surprise us all these years later you know <gasps> this man oh my gosh this man is so beautiful everything about this just screams tay He just looks so beautiful. This style fits Tay so well. Like this is absolutely his aesthetic. And I feel like, wasn't he like the conceptualizer for this whole photo shoot and stuff? Like that just seems totally like him. And I loved that this like portrayed 2020 so well. Like it's just them making their music and like their PJs and stuff. Like that's just like the epitome of like 2020. Like top half is business professional. Bottom half is chill pajamas and stuff. Like that is just so representative of the current times and stuff yeah look right here for a and r it says park jimin he's the first listed for visual creative it's kim taehyung first listed as well for album design it says kim nam joon and then for production coordination it says kim suk jin min yoongi jang ho suk and jung jungkook which is so cool like they're all listed and they're all like jimin tae and june are like the first on the list or whatever so like that is so cool that they're like super involved in this the creation of this album and like it totally comes through in the production and everything and this i guess is like another booklet which is really cool so let's look at this as well <gasps> Ooh, this is so cool Ooh, these come apart a lot easier i think they're supposed to be kind of like tearaways which i would absolutely never do so i'm just gonna keep them in here <gasps> oh my god I love this style. This screams them so much. The songs themselves are so good. Like I said, the entire album feels so comforting in the sense that like we know your pain, we feel your pain, we're gonna get through it. In a not a condescending way, not like a like, oh, we'll get through it like like a false positive. It's kind of just like I feel you. I'm feeling it too you know i don't know how to explain it obviously i'm never good with words i don't know how to explain things but it's just so good and the songs are just so comforting and like i love love that they explained like blue and gray was supposed to be part of tay's mixtape and stay was supposed to be part of jk's mixtape and you can absolutely tell that in the style and the production and the lyrics and everything like you can totally tell blue and gray was for sure like tay's aesthetic and like Tay's sound and stay is for sure jungkook's sound like you can totally hear it in like their own personal identities in those songs but i really like that they included them in this album and it's like so cool to see that bts have have become such good producers that they're all competing against themselves to put their own songs in the albums and everything and at the same time i'm just like it's your album you guys can choose however many songs you want to put on here you guys can choose which songs you want to put on here but at the same time the competition also comes from like well do i want this for my mixtape or do i want it for the group you know what i mean like i think that's so cool that they're all heavily involved in the, the music process and that they're all so heavily involved in making their own music now and stuff like obviously all of vocal line also wants to do mixtapes now which i think is so fucking cool and i cannot wait to hear more from them if like we got blue and gray and stay from v and jk like their sounds are so different i just love that about bts so much that there's seven different artists individually that make their own music separately but they come together so well to form bts you know what i mean like blue and gray is for sure like a song that sounds like the song but he adapted it so well to suit all of bangtan and stay is a song that sounds so so jk like and it could have been such a great solo song for him but he adapted it for Jin and Namjoon and all three of them sound so fucking good on it like it's just so cool to see how they can adapt their specific style of song to fit all of BTS like that's such a cool thing to be able to tell in the music and then be able to see how they make it work regardless you know what I mean like like the rest of BTS does not sound out of place in blue and gray Namjoon and Jin don't sound out of place in stay you know what I mean like it just fits so well oh right here it says I just found a better way mm. 
I love this picture. Oh my god, I'm in love. Look at Hobie. He looks so cute. They look so good. I love those little caps on them. Like, it just looks so cute and casual. Ooh, what does this say? It says, It ain't the end of the world, present. It shine like a pearl wherever you are. <gasps> That's my man. Oh my gosh. He's so beautiful. I love him and I miss him so much. And I hope he's getting better. Seeing him on the live, I appreciated that he waited until after the 24 hour mark of the music video so that we could focus all of our efforts on streaming, which I really hope you guys are streaming. Life goes on so that like we wouldn't be distracted by his live. And it was just so nice to see him because I really missed him in the comeback special. I know you always stay every night and day. I know you always stay. Oh, cute. <laughs> Sometimes we get to know broken is beautiful. Oh my god. I love them so much <gasps> Look at how cool this is. They look so good <gasps> Oh my gosh, I think these are my favorite pictures. That's freaking cute Can you imagine not being an OT7 stan, knowing how good all of these men look? How could you not love all seven of them? This is so cute. They look so good. This is totally taste style. Oh my god, I love it. I'm falling in love. I love them so much. Like, I thought I couldn't love them more. This look is freaking everything. I'm going to turn on my table like this. I like this again. Oh my god, it looks so good. I like the styling. I'm about it. <gasps> Gorgeous. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, I love it. So good. So let's look at the rest of the contents inside this thick ass album. So here is the making book. It's made out of the same material that the rest of the album is made out of. So this is just another photo book, which is so cute. Look at them. So casual and cute. <gasps> oh my God, I love him. Look at his handwriting and everything. Look at him taking a little selfie. He looks so good. <gasps> oh my god. Unreal. This is so pretty. <gasps> I love this picture. Oh my god. I'm in love with him. This is so cool. Look at him. What an angel. Oh my god. This is freaking adorable. Tay with his violin. The most gorgeous man. Oh, cute. Look at him. Oh my god, so cute. So there was the making book. Next we have all of this content. So I'm gonna go backwards. This is the folded poster. So let me see. Here is the poster. They look so good in this poster. I really love the styling. I love the caps with the suits. I think it's such a cute aesthetic. It's such a cute vibe. And like I said before, I'm not a poster person, but I really fucking love this picture and I would totally put it up in my room if like it was framed and stuff. It's so fucking cool. They just look so mature and grown up and still really cute. Like I just love this whole vibe, like with the suits and everything. Like it just shows that they're still chill, but they've grown up, you know? I like it. They look so cute. I just can't get over Tay. Like Tay looks so gorgeous.
next we have this um i think it's like a lyrics poster which is so freaking cool because to me i'm like finally like i've said before in multiple videos that i think bts's lyric pages are so boring and they finally did something interesting with it they have all of the lyrics on this poster which i think is so freaking cool because they wrote them all by hand i am so sorry i'm not gonna get this all in frame i'm gonna try and get this shot by shot here's the first track here's the second track and it looks so cute look right here it says miss you army with like a like a window and this little oh my gosh so cute the third track which is blue and gray which we had also heard during in the soup and then here is i wish i can recognize her handwriting but i can't i don't think i can I feel like if i tried right now i feel like i'll get it wrong look at them how cute is this there are little drawings everywhere so freaking cute to me my favorite tracks are telepathy telepathy is that bitch i fucking love that song that song is such a bop and then dizzy's obviously dizzy's is so freaking good that bridge that jimin wrote holy shit that bridge like not, not that the song is not good but that song is totally worth listening to just to wait for the bridge it's so freaking good and then stay i love stay it's like such a bop like i've mentioned before in my um txt ranking video i love songs that are so upbeat and fun and catchy and poppy and stay is like such a jam like such a banger like i'm like hell yeah like it makes me get excited and like it's such a sweet song and, like i love that it's like four armies and stuff saying that they'll always stay with us which is so cute and so sad and it's just like ugh I just, I love BTS so much and it feels so good to know that BTS loves us just as much as we love them. Like this album just makes me feel like, damn, like the intensity that we feel for them is 100% reciprocated. And like you can tell in the music, they write these beautiful songs to express how much they love us and like why they love us and like how we have helped them just as much as they have helped us. Like this whole album just feels so therapeutic for both of us, you know what I mean? And I really love that so anyways the back of this is actually really fucking cool first it has all of their thanks twos but then it has this really cool picture the reason why i'm struggling to show this properly is because i have a new mic and so it's like getting in the way here is the full picture hopefully you can see this is so cute i love this picture i like that it's like just slightly out of focus but it's still so pretty i like that they did something interesting with their lyric pages like i said it doesn't have to be like extravagant and stuff like this is just a cute way to do their lyric pages with their handwriting and stuff like that's really freaking cute and i like that they did something different because it's always been one of the critiques that i had about bts's lyric pages and lastly we have all of this so first let's look at all of the photo cards i really 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 love that this is an ot7 photo card set i love that they said you're either ot7 or get the fuck out okay so first we have namjoon these cards are so pretty i love matte ish photo cards like this so here's namjoon in his cute little wooden room love him he's so adorable then here's jimin oh my god look at him he's so beautiful and then we have yoongi oh my god look at him are they all laying down in their rooms that's so freaking cute then we have jungkook look at him they're all laying down on the couches oh my gosh and i didn't i didn't show this earlier but they each have b written in their own handwriting in the back yeah like the, each of them have different handwritings in the back so here's namjoon's and jimin's next we have jin looking like the prince that he is oh my gosh he's gorgeous and then Hobi, oh my god, J-Hopes is my favorite. Oh my god, he looks so pretty. I love this. Then we have Tay. Oh my god, what a fucking prince. <gasps> he looks so gorgeous. I love this. Their rooms are so representative of them. I cannot, like, I love each and every single one of these cards. They're fucking great. And then we also got a group card. Oh my god they look so beautiful i love this photo shoot so i'm really glad this group card is of this photo shoot oh my god and then last but not least we got a polaroid of them from the same photo shoot which is like my freaking favorite it says life goes on this is so beautiful i freaking 
love this entire set like the fact that they're all laying down in the couches in their own rooms scream them oh, it's gorgeous i love it so much and then last but not least we got this life goes on frame i believe let's see here's the cd oh my gosh how cute is that bts had, had already spoiled what the cd was gonna look like on their um lives and everything which is so funny but here what's this let me see what this is oh <gasps> i want to cry oh my god i want to cry okay these are their postcards and stuff like to be used as a backdrop but i want to cry because this is yoongi's painting <gasps> why do i want to cry right now oh my god i thought people were just joking when they said that we were gonna get yungi's painting why am i legit tearing up oh my god i love him so much these are such beautiful pictures i fucking love this oh my god i love this so much oh my god so there's seven of them. I'm pretty sure each one is supposed to represent one member. This is obviously Namjoon. This is obviously Yoongi. But the rest of them, I have to try and figure out who's who. I don't really know. I feel like an idiot for not knowing who's supposed to be who. Like, I feel like there can be so many. Like, I feel like this could be Jin. You know what I mean? This could be JK. Like, this could be JK. I don't know who could be who. Like, this could be JK. Like, the only two that I know for sure are Jun and Yoongi, obviously, because we saw him painting this. And I can't believe they included this in the album. I want to cry. I love it so much. So now I'm going to put this in here just to see what it's supposed to look like. I'm going to put this in like this. Do I have it backwards, maybe? And then I'm going to put this right here. Because why not? Because that's what I want to do. Like that. How cute is that? Oh, I love it. And I can just switch it out whenever I want to. When I have it on display. Oh my god. So that is it for the official unboxing for BTS's Deluxe Album B. For each BTS album, I usually buy multiple sets. Like usually I'll pre-order a set from Weavers and then I'll pre-order a set from like an American retailer just so that it counts for like billboard and stuff and also to increase my chances of getting the pulls that I want. However, as you can tell, this album also came with a full OT7 set so there's no need to try and pull different people because you're always going to get the exact same card set which I think is really freaking cool. Like this whole album was about coming comfort in BTS and like the unity of them and all stuff. So I like that the entire album was just like all eight of them and celebrating all eight and especially like celebrating the individuality of all eight of them which I think is really fucking cool because I think that really shines through in this album like how their individuality is so unique to them yet it's so cohesive as BTS and that was totally the entire concept of V and it, I cannot believe how the album executes that so well in the music in the styling in the creative design like everything about it is just like yeah that's bts you know what i mean like all seven of them are so fucking talented in their own way and when they come together they're just like a mega force and this album just completely showcases that so anyway what i'm trying to say is because because there's an entire ot7 set plus a group card plus two group cards technically there's no need for me to open multiple albums which means i have extra albums left over so here i have three albums that i also ordered so i ordered one for my niece which is already spoken for I ordered an extra one for my friend because at the time she couldn't get the pre-order so I told her hey I have an extra one if you want to get it for me but I don't know if she ever ended up being able to like buy the pre-order like on her own at a later time or if she still wants it or not and then I have an extra one that I can give away. So what I'm going to be doing is giving away this BTS deluxe album for B on my channel. It's going to be completely sealed and unopened so even like the QR code will be in there and everything. You'll get everything that was just shown in the video obviously. I just wanted to give this away because like I said this whole album is to celebrate BTS and celebrate everything that we went through in 2020 and how we got through it and how they're going to be there for us just the way we've been there for them and everything so I will be giving away this album to anyone who wants to join the giveaway all you have to do to join the giveaway is like this video comment your favorite song on the album and tell me why it's your favorite song and subscribe to this channel and the only way for me to know that you're subscribed to the channel is if you have your subscriptions 
is public. So you have to make sure you go to your settings and have your subscriptions on public so that I can check to make sure that you're following me. Unless you want to like send me a screenshot or something of you following me. I don't know how we want to do it, but that's just like the easiest way for both of us is to make sure your subscriptions are public. And once I see that you've liked and commented and subscribed, then you'll be getting this album. And I also have on my, hopefully by the time this video is up, I'll have put it up on my Twitter. I have giveaway proofs because I've given away albums through Twitter before. So the extra album that I saved for my friend, if she doesn't want it anymore, or it's like she has her own after all, I will be giving that album away on Twitter as well. So please make sure to follow me on Twitter at Tegushuga. So there will be one giveaway here for YouTube and then one giveaway for Twitter separately. It'll be the same thing. You just have to like and retweet and follow me on Twitter to win that album. But that's only if she doesn't want the album anymore. If you don't see a giveaway on my Twitter, then that means that she claimed the album after all, but I don't know if she will or not. So I put in the description also like the links to my Twitter. So that's where you can find my Twitter link. I'm the most active on Twitter. So if you ever want to get a hold of me or anything, I'm always on Twitter. Sometimes I'll post about like my video delays and stuff. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, go ahead and follow me. So if I do end up having a Twitter giveaway, you can enter both the YouTube giveaway and the Twitter giveaway. But anyways, the whole point of me bringing up Twitter was to say that I've given away albums on Twitter before. I've given away two Persona albums, a Map of the Soul 7 album, and then just like some random BTS merch that I've given out. So I will have giveaway proofs on my Twitter. I already have my my giveaway proofs on my Instagram, which is the same username as my Twitter, Tegushuga. So you can follow my Instagram. And I have given away uh, worldwide. So this giveaway will be open worldwide. Just make sure that you're okay with giving out your address so that I can send you the actual item and stuff. So yeah, I will I will put the rules of the giveaway down below in the description box. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe so that you can enter the giveaway and comment your favorite song and tell me why it's your favorite song on the album in order to enter the giveaway. And and the winner will be chosen randomly. I won't choose like based on best comment because I hate that. Like I hate when people choose based on comment or like choose based on like quality and stuff. Like like especially on Twitter, I hate when people choose winners just based on like who spams them the most. Like I don't want that. Like I don't want you to like spam me or anything. Like I want it to be equally fair across the board so it's going to be completely randomized so that anyone has a fair chance. Like I don't need you to spam all the time just for a chance of winning. I just need you to comment once and that's it. You know what I mean? Like I don't like the idea of people choosing based on who spams them the most because it's just like you want them to be like obsessed with your page and I don't want that you know what I mean so it'll be completely randomized so that everyone has a fair shot across the board so I just wanted to spread the love for BTS I had been wanting to do giveaways because I do them not pretty frequently but like pretty much every time BTS has a comeback I usually do give out an album because I want to support them and this helps supporting them this helps their sales and it helps armies get albums when they otherwise couldn't have gotten them because sometimes they're like too expensive and stuff and I I used to be in that same position so now that I'm fortunate enough to like buy my albums and like have this collection I want to kind of like pay it forward and stuff so once again I will link my giveaway proofs in the description box below through my Twitter and Instagram so yeah once again please 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 stream life goes on stream the entire album Jimin wants every single song to be top 10 so even if that's the skit let's do it who cares I don't know so please support life goes on it's such a beautiful song and it's so representative of 2020 it just like wraps up 2020 so well like we have spent all of 2020 with bts like they gave us map of the soul 7 at the beginning of the year and they gave us dynamite in the middle to like help us power through and then they give us b at the end of the year to kind of just like enwrap us in a hug saying like we got you we're still here with you not to mention all of their other solo projects and collaborations in between like bts are so busy and they work so hard this is why we support them so much because they work so hard and like their music shows how much they love us so that's i'm just like i promise you like this is not some superficial standing like I just love them so much and like I said I just want to pay it forward this is this is what an army deserves you know what I mean like if an army wants this album they deserve to have this album so that's why I want to give it away to someone so yeah thank you so much for watching my unboxing please like <laughs> I, well this is this is normally my normal outro so i'm not just telling you just based on the giveaway but i'm always just like please like and subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more because i'm thinking because it's christmas i'm also thinking of having more giveaways throughout the month of december because i'm in a giving mood and i have stuff to give away i guess i don't know so yeah please stay tuned to my channel and thank you so much for watching